watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same hello guys and um, welcome to my youtube channel again so guys um today is sunday and um today is 21st day of november 2021 and my birthday is in 26th november 2021 so that is um, four days from now. So guys, I am I'm going to start making my um, birthday dress. Yesterday was the market The vlog um, the vlog is now up on my channel the vlog I made by shopping for my fabric starting the dressmaking today So I'm starting it today and definitely my my stuffs are ready Here's my pattern paper. Here's my um, marker. Here are my coveralls. So literally everything is set for the um tutorial so i'm going to be video windows also right making it and it's going to be a, i just wish it could be an interactive something so i'll be like okay guys what do you think are you guys say okay i think this i think that you know but it's not going to be an interactive one so i i'm just going to um record why i do everything so guys i'm sipping um lemon i got this lemon yesterday i got this lemon yesterday so i'm sipping lemon and warm water so this is my morning therapy i always do this before anything before i jump start my day i take this so it's really warm now i actually left today for a while so it could be cool a little bit so now i'm going to take this after this and i'm going to start up the day hello guys um so i've um, gone ahead what i did here was to rule out the baseline the bust point and the waistline that's the length i'm going to be using 16 for the length of this um bow dies so um i'm going to go ahead now to place the measurements i won't be needing the under bust because it's not the corset so i'm going to be using this basic three lines for this particular bow dies i'm drafting and guys i'm working on a stretch fabric so i'm going to be using my exact measurement in that exact measurement i am still going to be um, minusing my dots so that is my dad and it's going to be um a shoulder dart from shoulder to the um, waistline so that is how i'm going to be um, working on this i'm not going to be adding allowance and i'm still not going to be adding allowance for that i'm still going to be using i am going to be using the um exact measurements and i'm going to be um, um taking out the dart from the exact measurement and every other thing so that is what it's going to be so let's say the now is um um 30 the bust i'm working with is 35 divided by 4 it's 8.75 in that 8.75 i am going to mark 8.75 and i'm going to still minus my darts one one inches from the waistline and connect it to the armhole so that is how i'm going to be working on this particular fabric because it's too stretchy guys so i am not going to i don't want to um i don't want at the end of the day i'm going to be left with so much allowance and I'm, i'll be shipping it and i don't have time for shipping so i'm going to be working like this so let's quickly get started I'm going to quickly place my shoulder measurement which is 15 divided by 2 which is seven and a half inches i am not going to be adding any allowance guys so i'm going to place my seven and a half inches here and i'm going to come here and my bust is 35 divided by 4 which is 8 point 8.75 so i'm going to um, place it here so now I'm going to quickly connect these two lines. I'm going to quickly connect these two lines. So I am going to um, connect, drag that the shoulder line down. And I'm going to, this is my bust measurement. So we are not working with this, we are not working with this. So now I'm going to um, place my waist measurement. My waist is 27 divided by 4, which is 6.75. So I'm going to place 6.75 here. So I am going to also quickly connect these two lines using my curve rule. So this is what I have. So now I am going to... I'm not going to uh, mark the neckline. So the neckline for this, it's a V neckline and it's really going to expose my boob. So I'm going to mark my, I'm going to use the edge of my um, underboss to mark this neckline. My underboss is 13 inches. So here is 13 inches. So now I'm going to, here is 13 inches. So I'm going to leave this for now. I'm going to um, concentrate on the dart on the shoulder 
on the armhole. So I'm going to use my boss palm, which is seven and which is seven inches divided by two, three and a half inches. So I'm going to mark three and a half inches here, and I'm going to come in by half an inch. I'm going to come in by half an inch, and I'm going to connect it to the sugar. So these are just the basic. Um, these are just the basic things for a bow tie. So I'm going to uh, mark my one inch shoulder slant. So I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to connect it to the um to the shoulder line. So yes, my um my my what's it called? My neckline has not been made. Like I said, I'm going to use the edge of this on that bust to do my neckline. So now I'm going to um, connect this to form my armhole. So I'm going to quickly connect this line to my... So this is already what we need for this um, bow eyes. So now what we need to do is also place... The bust pan I'm working with is seven and is seven inches, but because I'm going to be cutting it off, so I'm going to make it eight inches. Eight inches. So I'm going to be using four. That is divide, eight divided by two, which is four. So I'm going to see, place the four inches down. So now this is where the two inches and minus thing is coming in. Before I was going to place my exact measurement minus two inches. So now I'm going to be. Um, so I'm going to connect this line first. The initial measurement is seven and a half, so I'm going to divide seven and a half into two, which is this. So I'm going to place the seven and a half into two. I'm going to place it this way, and I'm going to mark. So now I'm going to come down here at my bust area. I am going to come down by one inch because I don't want it to be pointy. So I'm going to be using one inches. So now I am going to mark one inch at both sides so this is where the two inches i'm going to be minus this is where it's going to come in this is where the two inches i'm initially going to minus for my um initial measurement so this is where it comes in so i'm going to quickly connect this to this i'm going to connect this to one inch because i don't want here to be pointy so that's the reason why i am coming down by one inch so now i'm going to connect this to this So this is it. I'm going to connect it this way. I'm just going. I'm just just making it prominent. So this is my dart. So now I'm going to um, connect this straight to this way. So now this is the line. I'm going to connect this. So I'm going to connect this to this line here. And so here is my dart now. So you can see why I didn't um, use um, why I didn't initially minus about one inch from both side here is because I don't want here to be pointy. So now I'm going to take it in this way. So remember, there's no allowance, and I still minus extra two inches from here. That is because I it's a stretch fabric, and I don't want it to be. Um, I don't want to. Ha I don't have time to be shaping it. So, so guys, I took out extra um, half an inch from the shoulder. So I am going to, I connected it, that's the quick correction I made here, I connected it straight to the, um, that hair. So I'm going to pattern under and I'm going to trace it. So I'm not going to be giving a zipper allowance because this thing here and my nursing is going to serve as the zipper allowance for the bag. So I'm just going to trace the pattern the ends and connect it. So I'm just going to be cutting it off. So the only thing I did was to mark here where I'm going to be cutting it off and where it's ending. And I'm going to quickly trace this line and cut the exact. Um, like I said, I'm not giving a zipper allowance because this that I'm going to be my nursing at the front will serve as the zipper allowance at the back. So I'm going to cut this off. The that. So this is the front pattern and this is the back pattern. There's not much thing about the back. I'm just going to give the back a, um, a round neck. And the front I'm going to give um, a V round neck. So if that makes sense. So I'm just going to 
um, cut off the dirt. So I am going to transfer the notches. I'm going to transfer the notches of the dirt. To um, set the back pattern aside. I'll work on the front piece. So now I am I'm just contemplating on how to go about the neckline but I am finally um, I, I finally came to a conclusion on how to do it so I'm going to um, mark three inches so it's going to be a standard kind of the three inches three inches but now I'm going to I'm going to mark the from the shoulder um, width to be three inches then the depth to be 13 inches so this is where I this is 13 inches. So I'm going to be using a curve rule to connect this to this. So it's going to be a U here, something like this and like this. So I'm just I like to use my free hand first to understand literally what I'm doing first before I um, go ahead to define it with my pattern master. So guys, I'm going to um, I'm going to use this to just make um so I just don't want it. I just want. I just don't want it to be wide enough here. So I'm just going to mark it by half an inch. So it's at the end of the day, it will be one inch. So, so this is where I'm ending. That's it's the head. So I'm just going to. I'm just going to define here. I'm just going to define it with a curve. So this is the curve. So it's not a V neck, just a, a U neck. So I'm going to still use this and I'm going to come in. So this is what I'm literally doing. So I'm just going to define this properly. So you can see what I got. So at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to be cutting off. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to set this aside now and I'm going to draft the back neckline. guys um i've gone ahead to indicate um by writing this in case i'll need to use them on another fabric that is not stretchy so i would um add extra allowance so this is a front piece these are the front patterns so i've indicated the front, that they are the front piece so i'm going to set them aside and i'm going to um, move forward to the um cutting it on the, on the fabric to be um, working on the skirt part on the floor because um, my table is not going to accommodate the fabric and I don't have a long um, pattern paper so I'm going to be working directly on the fabric now so here are the measurements I'm going to just place them directly on the fabric and cut so I'm going to um, mark my baseline so I'm going to be using shock so I don't stain the fabric with a marker. So I'm going to mark my baseline. So all the measurements are going to start from here. And I'm going to quickly uh, measure out my hip um, for my waist, which is 9 inches. And I'm going to mark it here. I'm going to extend it. So I am going to mark from my waist, from my hip to my knee, that's about 11 to 12 inches. I'm going to mark 12 inches. And I'm also going to square it out. So 
So I'm just going to use my free hand to square it out because the rule is not going to work properly on this fabric. So guys, I'm going to now um, place my hip measurement, my waist measurement, which is um, 27 divided by 4, which it does about 6.7. So like I did the front part, there was no allowance, there was no um, 6.7, there was no allowance, there was no um, allowance for that, there was no sewing allowance. So I'm going to also depict that here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go back to my hip. My hip divide, my hip is 36 divided by 4, that's about 9 inches. So I'm not going to be adding allowance. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to come here at my um, my knee measurement. I'm going to just minus one inches. So I'm going to be using eight inches because I want that to be a little fitted. So I'm going to use eight inches, and I'm going to connect this eight inches. Um, I'm using for six inches length. I'm going to place this, and from here I am going to connect like so. And I'm going to. I just don't want hair to be sharp, so I'm just going to. Um, cover it in a little bit so it's not sharp. Get the, I'm just going to mark it like so. So I'm just going to trace it this way. So I'm just going to trace it from there to there to here. So this is what it is. So guys, the uh, material is not so much. I wanted the volume to be more than what I'm actually using now, but because I have limited fabric, so I'm just going to um, go. With one. We we watch the sun go down over the same old town, like so many. So we're going to be um, cutting off some material from the front. So here's the hip line. So here's the hip line. I'm going to go down by um, about four inches. About four or five inches. Let me go down by five inches. Let's just see how it turns out. So I'm just going to go down by five inches. I'm going to connect it so this is like an head so now I am going to um, be marking my so I'm going to now fold this into two so I can mark out my boss pan and so this is going to serve as a that what we are going to cut what we are going to cut off now is going to um, serve as a that so I'm going to be marking four inches from the um, center front now so I'm going to while cutting it I'm going to cut my hand also I'll never forget we will always share a bond no matter what cause you have hello guys so I am done stitching this um here's the back piece here's the front piece this wasn't easy it was like I was going to give up at the middle of this because the fabric is so stretchy that my machine couldn't sew the needle I even bought was disappointing so I, I was just very frustrated making this dress but I kind of held on and I used um, the thing that helped me was to use this um, pattern paper the remnant of my pattern paper so I used it and I added them so now it's a little bit easier now this little piece from the um, boning so I'm going to just place it this way and fold it in, fold it in like in a bias form and place it this way. I've finally secured me, I'm going to be fixing the boning and um, it measured about 3 inches. So I'm going to fix it this way while leaving about a quarter of an inch so I can secure the boning at the upper side and the 
lower part of it to join it to the body. So this is what it is going to look like. The next day. Today is the um, second day of my birthday dress making. Yeah, I'm excited because I've really gone halfway. Yeah, I know I still have limited time, but hopefully I'm going to conquer it. So yesterday I did the the darting and the boning. So I'm just going to join them together and do the sleeve. Then I'll go, I'll finish up with the pearls. And that's what I'm going to be doing today on that red garment. And I'll go over to the second dress of the day. So as usual, I'm sipping my lemon. <laughs> And um, I'm really set for today, like I've showered, I've prepped my face, and I'm taking my lemon. So after this, I'm going to be starting the work. So let me just show you the lay down of what I did yesterday. Let me show you what I did yesterday on the red garment and what I'm going to be finishing today before I start the other one. Here is the back piece. I went ahead to add the that. So that is what it looks like. And the other thing I'm going to be doing here at this um, with eyes is to um, add boning. I'm going to be adding boning. I'm still contemplating if I'm going to be adding boning from the um, shoulder or if I'm just going to measure from my underboss equally. But I'm just going to, I might just add it from the shoulder down. Let's see how that goes. Then here's the skirt layers. I've added the uh, darts. I've placed the darts. I've put the darts in place. So here is what it's looking like. It's very beautiful. You can see the mermaid is just so structured and big. I was still, I was just like, ah, it's not big enough, but it turned out to be okay too. So here's a front layer. It turned out to be okay too. So here's a front, here's a front piece. You can see how beautiful it's looking already. Let me go closer. So what I did here was to, what I did here was to um add boning at the under bust from the measurement i measured my under bust you can see the shock clearly i measured my under bust and um i went ahead to i went ahead to add small boning that's about three inches boning and i gave a little allowance to stitch to i gave a little allowance to secure the boning here and secure the boning here so that's why i literally did on the front piece the boning was added um, after the underbust, and here are the skirt darts. You can see. So I went ahead to join this one. I've joined this one already. So what I'm going to be doing today? Here's the opening, and I'm going to be fixing. Uh, I'm going to be adding extra, another um, fabric, a very structured fabric with boning. I'm going to add it up until this point, so it can cover this place because literally my V is out if I should wear this thing out. So. I'm going to cover it. The measurement of um, 50. Starting off for the front panel, this front slit panel, I'm using 50 for this. The 50 is for the allowance for the folding. So it's the same thing with the length. I just added half an inch. So I'm going to be. I'll quickly trace this. Trace this. Okay. Hello guys, so after cutting the um the front panel, the front piece that went from the bottom to the um to the bust area, here is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and fold it in with cocktail. So my sister made this cocktail and it tastes so nice. I'm just tired, like since when I've been doing this thing, I'm on and off. Mm. So, um, I've actually done everything. The last thing remaining is the slits. That's the design on the front of the dress. So guys, I'm going to move on to the second dress. I have a very, very limited time, so I'm not going to be detailing everything. What I'm literally doing here is a basic um, A-line skirt, just placing my hip measurement, my waist measurement, and the length of the dress. So that is literally what I'm going to be doing on this pattern. On this, I'm working directly on the fabric because I have limited time. Using 18 inches length plus my two inches band, that is 20 inches. So I could just make it 19. So by the time I fold it in everything would align so i'm using 19 for this it's a flare it's an a-line skirt so i'm going to square it out 19 all through 
I'm going to place my waist measurement. It's about 6.5 plus 2 inches. That is 8.5. So I'm going to be adding 8.5 inches here. The hip measurement is about 37 divided by 4, which is about 9.2 plus 1 inch. That's 10.2. So I'm just going to make it 10 inches. And my hip line, I'm not going to... Uh, my length line, I'm not going to be my nursing it because it's not it's an airline skirt so i'm just going to quickly place the 10 inches here so here is what it is i'm going to be cutting out from here to here to here so let me quickly cut this off because i don't have time and i'll trace it on the back fabric i'm just going to connect the lines 